Hi, I'm Curtis Johnson, and recently for the past four years, I've been number one on the field and number one in your heart. Uh, what it means to be a Swanee Tiger to me uh, includes being a part of history, tradition. Um, this program has been uh, voted the number one best football program ever, so uh, that's special and it uh, means a lot to uh, wear the S on my helmet. One of my most memorable moments here at Swanee is when we went down to uh, Memphis, Tennessee and beat Rose, got the cup, and came back and the entire school was just a lady, bunch of guys. Uh, that feeling, you know, I can't even really describe it to you, but it was probably one of the best feelings I've had in my life. One of the things that I'll take away from playing football here is perseverance. From my freshman year, experiencing some, some rough times, I'd say, um, to winning the cup and, you know, constantly improving each year and bettering the football program is something, something that I'll cherish and uh, look back on and say that I'm proud of myself for continuing to play football here. Something I'd like to leave the team with is uh, continue to get better every play, every rep, every, sp every sprint when you're conditioning, continue to work hard and improve, and uh, you'll, you'll uh, reap the benefits for sure. I'm Andrew Keenan, I'm number 21. What it means to me to be a Swanee Tiger is uh, to be a very well-rounded person. Um, I think that it's not about being just a good athlete or a good football player. It's about being the best person you can be, the best teammate you can be to your teammates, um, and the best student, all while also uh, being able to perform on the football field. Um, some of my favorite memories from Swanee uh, come in the past couple of years. Uh, this year, and last year, we were able to beat Birmingham Southern, one of our bigger rivals in the conference. And on both of those days, at times during the game, it was just one of those days where everything we had worked on was just clicking. And we were performing to the very best of our abilities. It was just a very special moment to be able to feel that way and, and take home a couple wins. One of the most important things I think I've learned from football is, um, is that there's always something that you can be getting better at. There's always something that you can be working towards to improve yourself, to prove, improve uh, who you are as an athlete, as a, as a student, or as a, as a human being. Um, and I think that at times it's easy to just give up in certain aspects of your life. Football is definitely one of them. What I've learned is that it's more important to push through these hardships and continue to learn from them and get better. I just want to say thank you to all my teammates and everyone involved in the program, as well as my family and friends. Um, it's just been it's been a very special four years here at Swanee, and I'm I'm definitely going to miss it. My name is Dave McKeithen, uh, number 31. And what I, I think it means to be a Swanee Tiger is really to uh, be a special kind of person. Um, it takes a lot of resilience. Um, through my time here, like Curtis said, freshman year we uh, all through went all went through a lot of hardships. And uh, but I feel like these last three years have been an important stepping stone to making the program better, making the school a better place. Um, really, I just think it means. A big part of being a Swanee Tiger is just coming together as a team, and no matter what happens, sticking through whatever happens as a team. Uh, really, my most memorable moment as a Swanee football player was, uh, I hate to copy Curtis, but it was definitely at Rhodes my sophomore year. Uh, we were coming off a 1-9 and nine season, um, pretty tough season freshman year. Uh, we went down to Rhodes, um, got the cut back, and it was a whole lot of fun uh, in the locker room. and. Later that night with some of the uh, things we were able to do with the cup, it was a lot of fun. Uh, 
I feel like a major lesson that I've learned from playing football here is um, to really just focus on what you can do to make yourself and your teammates better rather than worrying about what other people can do for you. Um, you know, they teach us, you know, do your job is a big, big thing they uh, emphasize here. And I really have come away thinking that's true. Um, you know, as a defense through these past, really all of the time I've been here, um, we work as a team. It's been a unit. Um, we compete in every single game. We've competed against some of the top offenses in the country and almost come away with some huge wins and have come away with a couple huge wins. Uh, but all that is really a testament to how we work as a unit. What I want to leave to the players that are going to come back next year is to uh, just stick with it and keep working hard and uh, just really, I guess, buying into it and uh, playing together as a team because playing together as a unit will get you farther than anything will as an individual. And that's My name is Paul Medling, number 79, and what it means to me to be a Swanee Tiger is to be able to really juggle the academics and being able to play football at the same time. I had a hard time with it, as I'm sure a lot of other students have, and it also really created a strong bond between friends and players on the field because everyone was there to help you out no matter what. I'd have to say my senior year was a pretty memorable moment. Being able to have Coach T as my coach for my senior year was really enjoyable. And all the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors that I got to play with, I really miss. And I really enjoyed playing with you guys this year. And a thing that I'll really take away from my four years at Swanee playing Swanee football is that to never quit and to never forget that you have 78 guys behind you at all times, ready to support you no matter what through life. And my personal message is to, no matter what, don't give up and keep playing and finish out four years of football and you'll never regret it. Hey, I'm Jake Foytick, I'm number 53, play offensive line. Um, what does it mean for me to be a Swanee Tiger? I would say that being a Swanee Tiger is really being a huge part of history, being a part of almost 120 years of, of a football family, and being a true gentleman on and off the field, as well as a scholar on and off the field. One of my most memorable moments was our trip to Seattle sophomore year. We went out there. Um, it was a long trip. I had never been anywhere that far away from home. And we went out there and played a really good ball game and, and beat those guys out there and then had a nice, fun time out on the town afterwards. Some lessons learned from playing football here at Suwannee, I would say definitely is, is resilience and perseverance. We've had a lot of you know, good and bad times in our seasons, but perseverance, I guess, is my main point here. Um, to all the players out there, I'd like to say thanks. I enjoyed playing with everybody for four years, especially the seniors that are graduating with me. Um, we came in with a lot more than eight guys, but we have a, a really tight group that we're graduating with. Um, and a big thanks to all the coaching staff and to my parents out there, my dad especially, for coming to all the games and being my coach for the last 20 years. My name is Andrew Duddleston. I am uh, number 62, 46, 88, and most recently number 67. <laughs> Formerly defensive lineman, middle linebacker, tight end, wide receiver, and now offensive tackle. And uh, most commonly known as Duds. I think the most important thing about being a Swanee Tiger is that uh, you're a part of something that's much larger than yourself. Um, you have to really think about putting other people um, in front of yourself, which isn't really a common thing that you do. Uh, when you're in college, most of the time you're thinking about what classes you want to take, what clubs that you want to go to, and you know what you want to do on the weekends. And uh, once you step in the classroom to watch film or when you step on the field, you have to think about 80 other people and what uh, they need from you. And I think that that's a really important thing about being a Swanee Tiger and a lesson that you can take into the future. My most memorable moment uh, was uh, going to Seattle and uh, having the Swanee Tigers play a, a great game against 
uh, Puget Sound, and we had a great time in Seattle that night, and uh, it was a great trip, and my parents got to come and see me play. I think that uh, the most important lesson I learned from being a Swanee Tiger uh, was hard work. I think that I'm an incredibly blessed individual just to come to this institution. One of the things that you can really take away from playing football and having to manage your time is, is the amount of work that goes into the off season, how much work goes into summer, and how much work goes into uh, you know preseason, all just to get to 10 weeks in which you work even harder. And um, those are things that I can take with me in employment and you know uh, with relationships and uh, everything after after school. So I just want to thank the the coaches for all the hours that they put in. Uh, definitely my parents and also um, all the players that I played with. Uh, thank you so much for uh, all your hard work and effort. Um, I'm Quentin Durrell Jones III, uh, also known as Q here, um, and I am number 20. Uh, I play DB, uh, also known as them boys. Um, being a Sewanee Tiger means that you are a student athlete and the coaches, they emphasize that the, uh, I guess the, from the time you get here to the time you leave. Uh, they even had shirts made as um, students were, was bold on the shirt and the athlete came after that. So our most memorable, memorable moment as a Swanee Tiger was last year when we went to Birmingham Southern. Uh, it was their homecoming and we came in and shocked them and we basically beat them and I had an interception that game, so it was a pretty nice moment. The lesson I have learned from playing football is that without teamwork, uh, it's hard to accomplish anything. Um, without the, that person right beside you working just the same, just the same as yourself, um, it's pretty hard to get anything done. And just knowing that that's, that person is right next to you, it means that things are going to get done pretty quick and fast. And a message to my teammates uh, and coaches, thank you coaches for everything y'all have done. My teammates, keep, keep getting after it, man. Don't give up on anything. And them boys, y'all already know, I ain't, I ain't got to say too much to y'all, man. So they know our cops, hey, <laughs> keep it going next year, man. Hope, hope to see my brother back out there next year with his um, torn ACL. So. Y'all be good, man. Uh, hi, I'm Atticus Frank, and I'm number 65. What it means to be a Suwannee Tiger, uh, just being part of a tradition that's just so historic. There's so many great names, great people who've coached here, who've played here. Uh, just being part of something that's so much bigger than yourself, uh, that means so much to so many people. It's uh, really a blessing, and there's nothing like it. Well, my most memorable moment, uh, I mean, we had great wins. We went to Birmingham Southern won. We went to Rhodes, uh, got the cut back. But a specific moment, uh, this last off season, uh, my final off season, we kind of had a culmination of all of our workouts. We had this three hour long conditioning, you know, just all these competitions and all this stuff. And we're all dead dog tired. And at the very end, we got in victory formation saying that we're, you know, winning our next game. And me and Jake Foytick, another one of the seniors, uh, got a bucket of ice and we bucket of water and we poured it on uh, Coach Lorending. Kind of just to really put home that we are, you know, working hard going into this season with a mindset of winning and doing our best. Um, uh, something I can take away from football, uh, just the hard work, it, sometimes it's a grind, it really is a grind because you have football, you have school, you have deadlines. Uh, senior year, you're looking for jobs. There's, you have a lot on your plate, and, but when you go through life, you have to persevere. You have to keep going and work hard. Personal message, I'd just like to say to all the players, it's been awesome playing with every one of y'all. I love all y'all. Uh, coaches, thank you. Uh, I know it's hard to coach us sometimes. Um, and to my family, especially my mom and dad and my brothers who have been so supportive of me, uh, always been there, supported me ever since I've been playing football, since I was nine years old. So it's been a fun ride.
Um, you guys helped me out so much, and I appreciate all the experiences I had, and I wish you guys the best. Love you guys. Mwah.